YouTube. Welcome back to my channel. This is Canadian Retro. I have a collection video for you here and I hope you enjoy this. This is my N64 collection. Now I don't have a single box game for N64 and I'm not really that particularly um, interested in the system to begin with. I just find that it's completely dated which is really kind of strange I guess when um, I am such a fan of the PS1 but I just um, I never had an N64 so I don't have a whole lot of nostalgia around it and when I look at the blockiness of it on my uh, TV these days, I have a hard time uh, falling in love with it now. So I don't really go out seeking out N64 games that much. I do pick them up when I do see them. Um, there are some that I definitely want to get in my collection, games that I do definitely want to check out, but I just don't really have um, a keen interest in chasing down a variety of different games for the system, especially with the prices that the games are because they're really astronomical. Um, even in comparison to PS1 games, I find that N64 games are just absurdly overpriced. So, I haven't really been out there trying to get those things, especially at retail prices, which is probably one of the reasons why uh, my collection is so slim in that regard. But, that all being said, I do um, enjoy the games that I do have in my collection, and I'll get to showing you those right about now. Alright, so here we go. This is my N64 collection, starting off got a copy of uh, 007 uh, kind of faded label but not too bad I do remember seeing this back in the day this is one of the games I really wanted to get my hands on I walked into game stores and I saw this um, on display and people were actually playing it for a player and all that kind of stuff and you could actually demo it out and things like that pretty wicked um, really wanted to get it. it sparked my interest in it but I already invested my time and energy into the PS1 so never got around to actually uh, getting a hold of this game now I've got it though moving on I've got Army Men Air Combat next one up here is Banjo Kazooie I actually got this one um, it was a double take is what I basically call it. I was at uh, two thrift shops that are side by side essentially. I left one, went uh, over to the other one, looked around, did whatever, like maybe I found some games, I can't really remember. And then I came back to the original one, it's just my double check, and when I double checked, someone had put this out on the shelf. Um, so I picked that up, it was really a wicked find that day, I was pretty pleased with that. Bust a move too, love uh, these puzzle games, so that's tons of fun right there. Cruising USA, must have. Dark Rift, I don't know a whole lot about this, but I do use this one when I'm testing out systems and testing out controllers actually because you can go into practice mode and it will show you all your button directions. Uh, just a little hint there. But uh, yeah, I put this one in and then I look at it and it will show whether or not the um, controller button is being registered So and it works for like every single button. So it's really awesome. That's what I use that one for. Next one is Diddy Kong Racing. Donkey Kong 64. Doom 64. Dr. Mario 64. Always love Dr. Mario series. Um, just love it to death, basically. Um, ever since the original NES game, and anytime I see a Dr. Mario game, almost guaranteed that I'll probably pick it up. F-Zero X. This is uh, Mario Kart 64. This is kind of funny too. Um, completely no label on this. This is exactly how I found it, um, except for it was really dirty. I found it at a thrift shop and there was another guy right in front of me who picked up um, another game that was sitting there and he got there basically like seconds before I did and then what ended up happening was this game was sitting there and the guy was like I don't know like I'm not gonna pay four bucks for a game I don't know what it is and I was like I'll take a shot on it so I picked it up and I'm glad I did because this is right now my copy of Mario Kart 64 uh, it was perfectly working order it's just got no label on it um, Mortal Kombat Trilogy This one I got recently, if you've seen my recent pickup videos, uh, Mystical Ninja, I got this at the thrift shop, I was sitting on a cart that was coming out and snacked it, or sneaked it up really quickly, snatched it up rather. Uh, Namco Museum 64, a little bit of wear on the label, but uh, always like these compilation kind of games, pretty fun. 
NBA courtside. I bought this one because it had a protective case around it, and I uh, wanted the protective case, so I ended up buying that. Perfect dark. Pilot Wing 64. Pokemon Snap. Rayman 2 The Great Escape. Resident Evil 2. Revolt. Um, I had this game on the original PlayStation. I don't currently have it on PlayStation. I would like to get it. Um, but when I saw this, I decided to pick it up because I do love uh, that game. It's really fun. I think it's pretty cheap, too. Robotron 64. Uh, awesome. Awesome game. Really cheap as well. Snowboard Kids. Atlas title right there. Um, bought that from a pawn shop. When I saw it, I was like, yeah, I'm going to buy that. And I think I paid like 12 bucks or something for it. That was a pretty good deal. Star Wars Episode One Racer. Star Wars Rogue Squadron. Star Wars Shadows of the Empire. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater. Never really got into the Tony Hawk uh, series that much. Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 2. And uh, I just picked that up because that was part of a, a recent trade I did. And I was kind of looking basically to fill my thing so the person could get what they wanted. And I figured I'd throw those two, two into the pile kind of thing. Uh, Turok 2 Seeds of Evil. And then Turok 2 Seeds of Evil as well. But it's the black cartridge. And apparently between these two and I can't remember which came first the chicken or the egg here is probably this one is the first version this one's a little bit glitchy and they fixed some of the glitches I think in this one here don't totally know if that's for sure but I think that's what I've heard of before uh, the next one here is war gods wave race 64 obviously and then finally uh, Wipeout 64. Alright, so there was my uh, N64 collection. I hope you guys enjoyed that. If you have any comments or anything down below, uh, some game suggestions, because I know there's a ton that are missing there. Uh, I'm missing like the Zeldas and all that kind of stuff. I'm even missing uh, Mario, you know, 64. <laughs> or Super Mario 64, which um, I know should be a common game, but I just haven't run across it yet. Stuff like that. So, um, let me know if there's anything there that you think I should be checking out, some sort of hidden gems or things like that, because I'm more than willing to take a look at them. Thanks again for watching. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do feel free to thumbs up this video, comment down below, and I will see you all later.